carpenters need to fit a cabinet or a countertop into an odd space, they'll use an old technique called ticking sticks. And this creates a pattern that they can use to fit that countertop or cabinet into the odd space. Now, I've never used ticking sticks in the wood shop, but carpenter Carl Bilderback showed us a way in the November 2010 issue of Popular Woodworking Magazine how you can use this ticking stick method to fit a door into a face frame, and it works really well. What I've done is I've created this lovely plywood face frame here this morning and another lovely plywood door that we are going to fit this door perfectly into this face frame, which I don't believe is square. The first thing to do is to get some pieces of scrap wood to fill in the area where your door is going to go. And then you take a piece of poster board and you get the straight edge of the poster board up against your hinge style. And this is the style that's going to take the hinges for our door. And then you tape it in place. And then the last thing you do is you take a utility knife and make a little nick on your poster board so that you know exactly where the poster board lines up with your style. This is a ticking stick. It's just a scrap of pine that has been planed down to a sharp taper and it has a pencil line on it. And this pencil line and this taper is what we're going to use to take readings of our opening all over our face frame. So let's give it a start. So what I do is I place the ticking stick into the corner of the face frame, draw a line along the ticking stick, and then mark where the tick is. And then I continue to take readings all over the face frame out there. The more readings you take, the more accurate the shape of your opening will be on your pattern here. So I'm going to take about seven or eight more readings and then we'll transfer this to the door. Now I'm going to remove my pattern and I'm going to put it on my door. Note the lovely plywood book match I enabled. And then I'm going to line this up with my hinge style, make sure that this first one goes into the corner like it should, good, and now I'm going to tape this down to my door. And I'm basically going to reverse the process by lining this up with each tick and then making a mark where the taper ends. The more marks I have, the more accurate my door will be sized. Now this top edge looks pretty good. Let's go over here. Believe it or not, we're almost done. Now we can take the pattern off and then take a straight edge and then it's just connect the dots. Now when I just make these two cuts, either on the table saw or the band saw or even with a hand saw, and clean them up, then I will have a door that is the exact size and shape 
of the face frame opening and then I can merely trim down the door to fit the reveals. And that's how it works. All you need is a stick, a pencil, and a piece of poster board.